Good evening, everybody. Austin Silver, Senior Forex Analyst with T3 Live. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody's having a good end to their week. Tonight, I want to talk to you about a quick little lesson about proper trading. I get this question a lot. People really seem to think that Forex trading is a lot more complicated than other markets, when in reality, most markets share a lot of the same characteristics when you're talking about how to trade them profitably. So first, let's define what proper trading actually is. Proper trading, by my standards, by the standards we hold everybody accountable to in our group, is identifying an edge through backtesting. What that means is that the strategy you're applying every single day has backtested data through chart markups and mathematical data that can prove you have an edge, meaning you're more likely than not to come out profitable over the long period of time. You want to make sure you're following a trading plan with specific parameters, and one of those parameters, we talk about it all the time, is being okay with not placing a trade. It's perfectly fine, and it should be a part of your plan every single day. Proper trading also means being in a balanced routine that includes things outside of trading. It means that you're focused on how to better yourself not only as a trader but as a person because when you better yourself as a person, it's going to reflect in your trading. I hope that made sense. I'm going to say it again. When you better yourself as a person, it is reflected in your trading, meaning it will impact your trading positively. So what I found is just going to the gym even on days when I lose money, even on days when I don't trade, no matter what happens in the trading session, I force myself to go to the gym. It changes everything for me. Breaking a sweat is just like a reset for my brain. So I really do recommend to fit into this definition of proper trading some type of balance of activities or hobbies outside of trading. It's very important. And lastly, to, to qualify yourself, I think, as a proper trader, you want to make sure that you're reviewing previous trades, not just your winners. I wrote wins and losses, but really focus on the losers because that's where you're going to learn. That's where real knowledge is gained. That's where I've found all of the strategies that we use in the room every day is from the losers. All the money that I've lost is what's made me the trader that I am today. And that's why we're doing this to hopefully shorten that learning curve, definitely shorten that learning curve for you guys so you don't have to lose as much and you can still learn from my losses because it's all documented and back tested. So let's talk about what it feels like, like actually what it feels like when you're trading properly. The first emotion that comes to my mind and the, and the people who I asked in our room is controlled. They say they felt in control of their trading, meaning there's no FOMO. They're not worried that they're missing out on an opportunity, they're not chasing a trade, they're not over trading, over, over leveraging, trying to hit a home run, they're, they're in control, they're in the driver's seat. Another emotion that we all feel when we're trading properly is confident. Now, you, of course, you're going to say, well, I can feel confident in a loser, and of course, but what I'm talking about here is conviction in your decisions, like I'm going to analyze in the morning when I wake up, read the chart, tell me what it's saying, and have conviction in that decision all day long, and if a setup presents to that conviction, I'm going to be confident behind putting action into it. The last emotion that I want to talk about is patience. We do talk about this all the time as well because it's just so important. I think about patience not just as like sitting on your hands and not trading, but I also think about patience as discipline to your trading plan in the sense that if the trading plan says this, this, and this, and this, and this must happen in order for me to place a trade, and if that doesn't happen for two or three days while you're looking at the charts, you might not trade. You might not place a trade. That type of patience, like that to me is extreme patience. And that's what it feels like to trade properly because you're aware that the market doesn't care about what else you have going on. You're aware that the market doesn't care about your strategy. You're aware that the market doesn't really care about you. You're just aware that you can wake up every day, sit in front of the charts, apply the plan, be patient and have conviction behind that plan. And like I said at the top, that leads you to feeling in control. And that's what trading properly should feel like. Controlled, confident, and patient. What does it look like for us and for people in our live room, people in our video course? That's S2 entries. It's breaks of market structure. Higher highs when you're breaking out for long positions, lower lows when you're breaking out short. Trend confirmed by multiple indicators, meaning we use exponential moving averages and something called a TDI. We teach our traders how to use that in the video course and we work on it every day in the live room. I'm always answering questions about it because those indicators are what confirm the trend and that's what 
proper trading is to me. Proper trading to me is the S2 pattern. To our traders that are studying hard with us, the S2 entries, the breaks of structure, higher highs, lower lows, breaks for low of day, breaks for high of day, these breakouts, that's what it looks like. That's what proper trading looks like. What does it sound like? That's even more important than the other two. You want to use if then statements. We talked about this a little bit last week. If this happens, then this should happen and I will act on it in this way. That's the best way that I've found to trade. When I'm talking in that sense where I can see a setup developing, if this does this, if this comes and pulls back to the 50 EMA, then this should move off the 50 EMA with a shift candle. And if it does that, I will act on it in this way. Right there, that type of a sentence, like that is the most powerful thing that I can own as a trader because that's what I know proper trading sounds like. We talk about this all the time in the live room. This is breaking through say a key level, yesterday's high, yesterday's low, or this is breaking for a new low of day, a new high of day, whatever it is, these breakouts, where the S2 entries are layered into them, those are the trades that are the that fit this criteria for proper trading. So I hope everyone is following me so far. You wanna make sure that there's confidence and conviction behind your trades, you're using a strategy like the S2 strategy, something that's proven and back tested and proven to be learnable and then you want to make sure that when you're actively doing it you're looking for for us those breaks of structure if this happens then this should happen if then statements those are the most powerful statements that you're going to use as a trader and today it worked out really well for us here on the GBP USD we're looking at a five minute chart right before 6 a.m. there was a break right around 545 there was a break through the 50 EMA which ended up getting some pop for news and if you held in till about 8 a.m. there was 38 pips worth of rise 38 pips for those of you that are new to Forex could be three hundred and eighty dollars could be three thousand eight hundred dollars it really just depends on the leverage and the lot size that you're putting behind this trade but a simple small accounts making three hundred eighty dollars on this type of a trade in less than two and a half hours so beautiful break here what we're using to identify these is the S2 pattern. These S2 patterns are really, really solid. You can see here is a photo of my live trade. You can see my buy order, stop loss and profit right here. I'm up 37 pips. I held it all the way through. It never broke down the 13 EMA. I'm in this here today, slightly smaller than usual just because I knew that this week was filled with news. We had 4th of July yesterday. You had FOMC news today. We have payroll numbers tomorrow and at 12.01 a.m. that new tariff is kicking in so a lot of macro events going on this week that are making me believe that the market would be a little thinner so I traded it smaller and I was working on my patience my discipline to hold into these type of trades and I want to just finish off this presentation tonight with explaining where we believe proper trading starts you need this I'm, I'm like at a this is going to be my next tattoo, I think, this Forex success triangle, because it's the three pieces that I really believe that tie proper trading together. It's the training, the video courses that we give you guys, the five-hour video courses for self-study. It's the coaching sessions every night we do right before this call for an hour, where we go over the entire day's charts. There's no use in me going over it on here with you guys. Half of you don't even know how to read the chart, probably. Those coaching calls are for the people that watch the video course, learn the basics, and are there every night with new questions to make sure that they're ironing it out exactly how the S2 pattern is supposed to be seen. And then on top of that, the third piece to the triangle is the live trade ideas. These are the ideas every single day from 5 to 11 a.m. where we're in the live room watching live charts, analyzing as things develop, potentially even trading together. Today on GBP USD, this was a trade that we were all watching. We all saw the S2 crosses on the one minute happening. We were all paying attention as it started to develop. So just a really, to me, this is the complete picture for Forex trading, for someone that is looking to become a proper trader. It's the training, it's the coaching, and it's the live ideas. Those are the three pieces that you really need. The last thing that I wanna show you guys is just an awesome testimonial. This is from one of the guys that's been with me for a really long time. My good friend, Kevin, he has been with me through different groups and different education ideas, different education programs, different everything. Like Kevin has been with me since the very, very beginning. And here you can see his week. He's up already going into tomorrow if he trades. He, already this week, he's up almost $1,000, almost $900 here. So just a really solid week for him. For someone that's really committed to it, like he's been at it every single day for the last two years. It takes time. It really does. Like no one gets this overnight. 
But now he's sending me text messages saying this is the best I've ever done. It's because of the VTF. I'm so confident in myself because we're using he he's feeding off the energy in the group where we're all able to kind of communicate together and analyze these pairs. And then he's putting his own discipline in. And you can see he hasn't he didn't take one single loss. This is a fifty dollar withdrawal. He didn't take a single loss. Not even over leveraging, very small lots. Like just great discipline here in this P and L sheet from Kevin. But it's well deserved, and it's it's honestly like not even um, a, a rarity to me for him because when I've seen someone commit to the craft, commit to trying to be a good, proper trader, commit to the ideas that I just talked about in this whole presentation, this is the reward that you typically see. For Kevin, it took two years. For me, it took a little bit less than two years. For Logan, it's taken less than six months. Everybody has their own pace. For someone like maybe Dom, it's taken three or four years. Who knows how long it could take? But the idea behind it is the commitment is all that matters. The continuous pursuit, the survival will then eventually get you here. Now, come work with us, come work with us, with us in the S2, learn our strategy, and we can probably shorten that learning curve a little bit for you. Like I was just talking about Logan, he's one of our newer guys who's been with us. But here, you can see Mark. Mark's not even a full-time Forex trader. He's doing this part-time. And he's using just some of the stuff that I talk about in the video course, the S2 video course. And you can see he profited 2300 from this trade, 1900 from this trade, and 1700 from this trade. And he said, had some good trades using things Austin speaks of on a few trades combined with my methodology. So he's taking stuff from our S2 course, stuff that we're talking about here every night, putting it in with his ideas, and it's working for him. We have another guy in the room, Brett, who's using Z lines, which they're support and resistance lines. He's using those in combination with the TDI, which is something that we talk about. And now he's finding more success, not just using the S2, but now he has his own strategy plus the S2. So he's added two trading strategies to his tool belt. So it's just a really solid development across the board from everybody. And I think that there's only one direction for us to go. I really do feel that as we continue to grow and add more smart people to this group, there's only gonna be more and more opportunities for us to make money together and grow together. So really quickly, let me just let you guys know with the program, you get, like I said, the three pieces to that Forex success triangle. The five hour video course, the live trading room from five to 11 a.m. and the one hour coaching calls that are recorded for you every single night so you can on the weekends catch up on them. When you're on an airplane, you can watch them, whatever. All of this for just one ninety five per month. You literally you get more than what my girlfriend would get out of me for one ninety five per month. It's crazy because you're gonna be immersed in just nonstop forex. If you commit to us and you show up in the live room and you watch the video course and you ask questions and you show up to the coaching calls and you ask questions and you take notes, there's no no reason. I don't want to say no way because we don't guarantee anything, but there's no way that you will not learn how to do what we do with this S2 pattern. So I look forward to seeing everybody in the room very soon. For the rest of us, tomorrow we're trading it very slow with NFP, but we will be up early in the morning. So if you have any questions, we are always around. And like always, I appreciate everybody's time. If there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always here to help. Happy trading and have a great, great rest of your week. Thanks, everybody.